Welcome to QNEC Backup. Today I'll show you how to install it and get it started. You're going to have to install two different pieces of software. The first one is available on the QNEC home page. It's called QNEC ODBC for QuickBase. Just click on this top download now button. The file is very small, it's only a megabyte and a half, and the installation is also very fast. Now that we've got QNEC ODBC for QuickBase installed, we're going to move to the next piece of software, which is called QNEC Backup. You don't have to watch this Getting Started video here because you're watching this video and everything you need to know is going to be in this video. The next step is to click on the Products menu, then scroll down a little bit and click on this Download Now button. Then run the setup.exe file. You'll see this little dialog. You click Run. And then you'll see the user interface for QNEC Backup. You can figure out what your QuickBase username is by going to your web browser and logging into QuickBase. In the upper right corner here, you'll have this little drop down menu, and your QuickBase username is here in light gray. We're going to type that in right here. Now we can choose user token here. And how do we find a user token? Well, we go back to the web browser. We click on My Preferences. And then we scroll down to Manage My User Tokens. Here, we have to create a new user token. We can use either this button or this one up here. We need to give the user token a name. We can use any name we want. I'm just going to call it QNECT. But you're welcome to use any name you'd like. Description is optional and very important. You have to select at least one application from this list to associate with the user token. The user token will only allow you access the applications you choose here. I'm going to choose just one. You can choose at most 20. Now we click Save and here's our user token, not to be confused with an application token. I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. And we're going to go back to QNEC Backup, and we're going to paste that right here. The next thing we need is the QuickBase server. Again, we can go back to the browser, and the QuickBase server is this piece right here. The value you see here is for my QuickBase Realm. Your QuickBase Realm will have a different value here in the browser, so make sure to copy the value from your QuickBase page, not this value that you see here. Notice it's the part right after HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and up until the next forward slash. So we're going to copy that and we're going to paste it into QNEC back up here. Then we can test the connection by pressing that button and you'll get a little dialog like this indicating that you're successful. Now we're ready to move from the authentication tab to the backup tab. The first decision we have to make is what to do with file attachments. We can ignore them and not download them, or we can download the current revision and then have in the CSV file a file URL that points to that downloaded file. Or we can download all the revisions and still have just a file URL pointing to the current revision. Or we can download all the revisions and we can put the multiple resulting file URLs into the CSV file separated by hard returns. So we'll go for the maximum here and download all the revisions. Next we have to choose a folder. You can choose any folder including a network folder. Now we can within that folder we can have a subfolder for each day and we can put each application in its own folder. We'll choose those then you click on List Tables. Now you can expand AAA Project Manager and see the tables within the application. You can move tables over by dragging and dropping them. You can use this button here to move a table over. And you can also move all the tables on the left side over by holding down the Shift key and clicking this button. You can move all the tables back by holding the Shift key and clicking that button. You can also move tables from left to right by double clicking on them. And once you've selected the tables you want, you click the backup button and you'll see the progress here. 
in terms of the records being backed up and the progress bar will show you that as well. When the backup is complete, you'll get a little dialog like this, which you can dismiss. That's all there is to using QNEC Backup. Once you've configured QNEC Backup to your liking, you can automate this process with Windows Task Scheduler. To get the right parameters you need for Windows Task Scheduler, you can click on the Show Command Line button. That'll bring up this pop-up dialog, which allows you to get the two parameters you need for Windows Task Scheduler. You need the program script and you need the arguments. You use this button to copy the program script to the clipboard. You use this button here to copy the arguments. And you can paste those into Windows Task Scheduler. Thank you for your interest in QNEC Backup.